you find yourself kayaking this summer, like I was recently at Belle Isle, you might want to be on the lookout for invasive plants and animals that inhabit some of these waters. I recently went out on a training with folks from the Michigan Sea Grant to learn how to identify and report some of these species. And here's how you can too. Michigan has a variety of invasive species in its waters, including the Eurasian water milfoil, curly leaf pondweed, and starry stonewort. These plants can damage the local ecosystem, making containing them a priority for government and conservation groups. They can crowd out other native plants that are really beneficial to the environment, and they can start to impact the whole lake ecosystem. Distinguishing an invasive plant species from its native lookalikes can be difficult. That's why some groups like Eagle have created guides for identifying some invasive species like this one. If you do find a plant that seems out of place and you want to report it, you can do so online at misin.msu.edu. Try to send multiple photos from different angles, ideally with a coin or your hand in the frame to measure its size against, and note where you found the plant with as much specificity as you can. If you think you've found a plant that's on the state's high priority watch list, you can report it directly to Eagle. Experts say that even if you're not sure you actually see an invasive species, it's best to report anyways. Beyond reporting, we can all play a role in reducing the spread of invasive species by cleaning off our equipment after being in the water. They can easily be transported. If they a latch onto a boat, a kayak, and they move to another water body, that fragment of plant can drop out into that lake and produce a whole new colony. If you're coming out of the water, the first thing you'll want to do is to clean off all the mud, plants, and debris off your kayak and paddle. Afterward, you should disinfect your kayak with a dilute bleach solution, and make sure to wipe the solution off later so that no bleach ends up in the water. And while it might feel like a chore to clean it after every single outing, experts say making that a part of your routine goes a long way to protecting Michigan's waters.